Hey guys, this is Joe from JoeColantonio.com and today I'm going to show you really quick how to test a web service using HP's Load Runner with the web service protocol. Like my previous videos, I'm going to be using the sample application that comes with HP service tests. So let's start Load Runner. So once Load Runner's view gen starts up, let's click on File New and we're going to select the web services protocol. So within ViewGen, we're going to select the Add Service Call. For services, underneath the new web service call pop-up box, we're going to select Import Service. And for the URL, we're just going to point to the WSDL for the sample application. And so what the Load Runner Wizard does is it imports the WSDL and it now has all the operations available to you. So for the first half of the script, we're going to use the Get Flights. And we're going to fill out the information. And for output arguments, what we're going to do is we're actually going to click on flight number. We're going to click on save return value as a parameter, and we're just going to name this pflight number. So what's great about this, it's going to make a call to the get flights operation using the information we specified, and it's going to grab a flight number and put it in a parameter called pflight number. So we're going to use that later on for the create flight order operation. So just to make sure it's working, let's use the uh, let's do an output message just to verify that the information is being returned that we expect. And let's run it just to make sure everything's working correctly. All right, cool. If we look at the replay log, we can see that the call was successful and that a flight number is being returned of 13628. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to call the create flight order operation and we're going to use this value returned from the get flights the P flight number and use it as input uh, for the flight number for the create flight order operation. So click on an add service call again and for the operation we're going to select create flight order. So we'll just start filling in the create flight order operations parameters. So for the flight number rather than hard coding it, so what you could do now is just point to the parameter that we created earlier. And so now this is dynamic. Uh, it's going to point to whatever is being returned from the get flights. And what we want is we just want to capture the total price. So we'll call it P total price. So let's just turn on advanced logs just to see all the information being passed back and forth. It's good. We can see the total price is 125. So what we want to do now is we want to create a checkpoint to validate that the response being returned by the create flight order is correct. And the easiest way to, to enter in another step in Load Runner is to click on Tree View and right click on the operation and, and then click Insert After. And this allows you to select any step that you want to use. I'm going to use the built-in XML, Find XML. Click OK. And for the XML that we, we, we want to check is the create flight order response. So we're going to click on the ABC and for a parameter name we're just going to point to the create flight order response. So the X path is basically just a path that points to the particular element that we want to verify. And the text we want to verify is 125. Take the defaults because we do want it to error if the value is not found. Alright, so as you can see it places the XML find function in for us. And just notice that the path that we want to check is total price. And if you look at the previous step for create flight order, when we created the uh, P total price parameter, it shows the path for you. So that's a quick way of finding out the exact uh, location of the X path that you want to use to get that element value. So let's run it and just make sure it works. So we look at the results. Everything looks good. There's no failures. Great. So if we look at the test results, we can see it passed, and if we expand the results, in the result viewer we can see the request being made and the response being returned back. And we can see the XML passed and that the value is being returned of 125. So that's a quick way of uh, testing a web service in HP's uh, load runner with the web service protocol. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.